डिस्कस कोलिजन थियोरी विथ रेफरेंस टू यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शन इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू अप्लाई द कोलिजन थियोरी टू अ यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शन बिकॉज ओनली वन मॉलिक्यूल टेक्स पार्ट इन द यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डीकम्पोजिशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन पेंटॉक्साइड Lindemann suggested that the two different molecules of nitrogen pentoxide collide and during this collision one of the molecule acquires activation energy for the reaction so two molecules of nitrogen pentoxides combine and one molecule gets activation energy which further decomposes into nitrogen tetroxide and oxygen molecule consider a unimolecular reaction a gives product This reaction is given by Lindemann in stages as A plus A producing A star plus A. This is equation number one, and A star then decomposes into product. This is equation number two. In the first stage, one molecule gets activated, giving A star, and the rate constant is k one. If there is some time lag, then this activated molecule gets deactivated, and reverse process takes place. and that rate constant is given by k2 if there is comparatively small or no time lag then the activated molecule decomposes as usual and the rate constant is given by k3 thus rate of formation of activated molecule is equals to k1 concentration of a square this is equation number 3 and rate of disappearance of the activated molecule is k2 concentration of a star and concentration of a plus k3 concentration of a star this is equation number 4 as a star can follow both the reactions reverse also and forward also according to steady state principle when a short lived intermediate exist in a system the rate of formation of intermediate is same as the rate of disappearance therefore rate of formation of activated molecule is equals to rate of disappearance of activated molecule let's put the values from equation number 3 and 4 so k1 concentration of a square is equals to k2 concentration of a star into concentration of a plus k3 concentration of a star let's take a star common so k1 concentration of a square becomes a star into k2 a plus k3 therefore we can say a star is equals to k1 a square divided by k2 a plus k3 this is equation number 5 since decomposition of activated molecule is rate determining step the rate of reaction is given by rate of reaction is equals to minus da by dt is equals to k3 concentration of a star let's put the value of a star from equation number 5 so minus da by dt is equals to k3 k1 concentration of a square divided by k2 concentration of a plus k3 this is equation number 6 now there are two possibilities first when k3 is very small as compared to k2 into concentration of a then k2 concentration of a plus k will be equals to k2 into concentration of a so equation 6 becomes Minus da by dt is equals to k1 k3 concentration of a square divided by k2 concentration of a. This on simplification gives minus da by dt is equals to k1 k3 divided by k2 into concentration of a. Or we can say minus da by dt is equals to k dash into concentration of a. This is equation number seven where k dash is equals to k1 into k3 divided by k2 is a new constant. Second case is when k2 into concentration of a is very small as compared to k3 in that case k2 concentration of a plus k3 will be approximately equal to k3 so equation 6 becomes minus da by dt is equals to k3 k1 concentration of a square divided by k3 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 gets cancelled therefore minus da by dt becomes k1 concentration of a square this is equation number 8 the equation 7 and 8 represents unimolecular and bimolecular reactions respectively and if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel